cool. Hey, honey, Pete's doing his giveaway. Oh, that's nice, honey. I wonder who it is. Oh, it's probably that one guy. Um, he always does the videos about the. Um, oh. Our hero returns from his long journey. I present to you the <clears throat> uh, the JX6 guys. Here it is. So I'm going to throw up the basic specs up on the screen for you guys. I'm going to kind of show off the blade and some of its noticeable features. Uh, first impressions out of box was this is a great knife. <laughs> it had great fit and finish, uh, awesome materials, the things you would expect from a brand like Bark River. I'm going to put the knife through some testing throughout the video. It's going to be broken down in the chapters, so if you're watching something you're not interested in, just kind of go down to the description and you can skip ahead. So, first impressions were great. Uh, let's put it through some testing and then I'll wrap up the video with my final thoughts and impressions. Here you go, guys. Your dad was an N-Tech, and not even a good one. <laughs> Let's talk about your mom, that stupid Z-Hunter. She had two kids, you and the Bear Girl survival knife, and he's their favorite. Yeah, how do you feel about that? If you can skin a boot, you can skin a buck.
Hey guys, so I thought I would do a quick comparison of the JX6 versus some other knives. Uh, just for a size comparison, here it is against the More Companion, uh, my custom cap heart, and the Buck 119. I'll just kind of throw up those dimensions up on the screen right about now. So, compared to these, this is going to serve a different role than this knife. This is meant to be a large overall general camp slash hunting knife. So that one really is only here to demonstrate how small the JX6 is. So you can see it is significantly smaller. The main knife I want to compare it to are these knives right here. So what you're looking at are knives that are going to serve the same general purpose. What you're looking at here are knives that are going to serve the same general purpose. A light duty, medium-ish camp knife. This would, I would say, would be about medium. But then you start getting into the light duty and the smaller. Compared to this blade and this blade, how does this blade stack up? Well, the more companion is not a full tang blade. It's about a three quarter, I believe, with a rat tail tang. This is a thick full tang blade. And then this is a full tang blade as well. This blade is slicier than this blade. This blade is tougher slash thicker than that blade. The thin stock and the Scandi grind on the More Companion makes it great for its slicing, woodwork, finer, smaller tasks. The thick stock and the full tang on this blade makes it great for heavy, heavier tasks. Um, not as fine, but it can take a little bit more abuse. But it trades off that small, fine cutting. But with this, you get great slicing ability due to the Sabre convex grind. It's, as you can see from the cutting test, it did really well. Uh, you have the toughness because it is a full tang blade. You don't have to really worry about the stock. Um, it is thicker as well. So what I like about the JX6 is I think it takes the purpose of these two knives, puts it in a nice small package. Okay guys, here we are. The conclusion to our journey. Final thoughts and overview. So I'm going to kind of just start out where the video started, chapter one, and uh, my overall initial impression was it was nice, it's well made, high quality materials, uh, no flaws, no issues right out of the box. Uh, chapter two, going into the fine cutting tasks, this blade excelled at that stuff, I mean, it handled, the paper was right out of the box sharpness, so you could see that it was really sharp, so good on Bark Ripper. It did well on the fine cutting task, the cheese, the tomato, the apple. Uh, the tomato was actually overly ripe, so it was a lot softer than a normal tomato. Handled that no problem. Got really thin slices on the apple. That cardboard was actually a double ply corrugated cardboard. It was almost a quarter inch thick. And this thing handled it like a boss. So, cutting tasks, this thing excels at. Now, going to the fire making. This is probably one of the best knives I have for the fire making. Um, I kind of had that spot reserved for my Mora Companion, but in my opinion, this does a lot better at that. That's just my opinion. Now, with further use, I might change that, but as, uh, as it stands now, this is probably my favorite fire making knife. So I'll keep that in mind moving forward. Um, going into the abuse of testing, it failed miserably at the verbal assault. I mean, I can't fault it for that though. I was really hard on it. But going to the batoning, <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it may pass batoning, but you have a really small cutting edge here. This knife isn't made for that. So I wouldn't recommend it, but it will baton. Now that wire that you saw me cutting up was a heavy duty construction uh, power cord. It had a really thick rubber coating uh, as well as a PVC core with two strands of braided copper that were also insulated in rubber. Cut through that, no problem. And then the boot. <laughs> that thing was a sucker to take down, man. Processing that was a heck of a time. My hands got to work out. But it did it, and it processed it. I was actually concerned about the sole of the boot. It was really hard, tough rubber, but as you saw, it got through it. So... Overall, I mean, this knife passed pretty much everything I could throw at it. So, final thoughts on this knife? It's a great knife. Um, 
I will give a few gripes because I feel like the only way to have a fair review is to cover some of the bad. I'm going to start with the sheath here. Uh, inside there's some interior stitching and for the first few times of putting the knife in and out it would get hung up on that and it still does every once in a while. You're not going to be able to see it but that is a little bit of a gripe if you don't come in at the right angle if you come in and kind of steep you might get caught up on that. And then if you have a thick belt until you get this leather worked out you might have a heck of a time getting this on your belt. So that's, a, that's not a big gripe. It's actually a nice sheath. I like it. I like the color. I like the size. I like the style. Stitching's nice. So it's a high quality sheath. Um, as you might be able to see here, I did tip her. I believe it's from the batoning because when I was batoning, I only had about this much edge sticking out to baton with. So I might have tipped it there or it was that rubber on the sole of that boot, which actually I think it was that. But I'm not positive. I didn't pay attention to when that happened. But that's okay. I'll probably send this knife out to get sharpened properly and get a new tip put on it. Maybe send it to the Apostle P. I haven't used him before, but I've always wanted to send something to him. Uh, and then the last gripe would be this design choice here. Uh, I don't know if I would have noticed it. I probably would have, but I think SC Bushcraft was the one that pointed out this part here. It can be a little rough. If you're... um going to reach in your pocket and you scrape your hand across that you'll notice it uh, it's uncomfortable it's not going to cut you open or anything but I think I think there might have been an opportunity here to do something a little different maybe just wrap this all the way around and move this back and just have a regular lanyard loop I get what they were doing with the JX6 line and trying to make it kind of like the bush bat but not quite so overall though this is going to be if not is my favorite knife or until I find something to replace it. Now, like I said, it does have its problems, albeit not many and not large, but this knife is a great knife. I'm extremely grateful to have the opportunity to review this knife. I'm extremely grateful to have it in my collection, and there it will stay. Like I said, I might send it out and ship it to get corrected and get a nice edge on it, but this thing's not going anywhere. It'll stay in my collection, and uh, I'm really glad to get it. So thanks for watching, guys. I had a lot of fun making this video and kind of putting this knife through the ringer. Um, I didn't try to hold back too much. So I hope you guys got something out of this review, a little bit of information, maybe a chuckle. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Got some other stuff coming up. Have a good one.